<laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. Look, guys, do you want to look so rich? Look so rich? I'm going to share with you exactly how you can make 100x. What I, or what I think has a potential of doing 100x in the next coming years. Um, none of this is financial advice. When you do make financial decisions, please do your due diligence. Please do your own research. Please, you know, you have to understand you're putting your hard-earned money from your job, 9 to 5, whatever, your life savings. Do your due diligence when it comes to finance because people make stupid decisions and they just blow their money because they've watched someone on YouTube. Be it me or be it anyone else, if they tell you something, don't just take it at face value. You know, do your own collective research and then come to a conclusion of how much to invest or speak to a financial advisor. But I'm sharing with you what I believe is a 100x potential from right now, even at this market price. Um, let's just go through the basics. The coin is called Luxo. L-Y-X-E is the token symbol. And the current price is $28.00 market cap of 428 mil fully diluted market cap which is quite high 2.8 bill um and the current supply is 15 million lux so at 15 million lux the market cap is 400 mil the max supply is 100 million so there's about 85 million that hasn't actually been kind of pushed into the uh, into the market um if they do push into the market the price will be 2.8 billion for the market cap assuming the price for Luxor remains at 28 but you know common economics basic supply and demand rules is the more supply the price drops but this shouldn't be an issue because there are uh, talks where you can see Fabian Fabian Vogsteller if that's how you pronounce his name Fabian Vogelsteller um, he is the author of Luxor where he said once Luxor is established and we've you know set up the ecosystem if for example you know it's operating efficiently at say 30 million luxo circulating supply and 30 million is you know more than enough to operate the facility then we will just simply burn the remaining 70 million so what he means is it we don't necessarily need to use all the 100 million coins if the job can get done in a third of the number of coins. So if, you know, in 30 million circulating supply, Luxor is operating efficiently and it can't really exceed that operation kind of uh, performance, then the rest 70 million gets burnt and guess what happens to the price? It'll catalyst up because, you know, there's less supply left. So Luxor, let's just do a little rundown of it. It's a company... And that is actually focusing on digital fashion with the blockchain and infusing these two together. I'm going to go give you my thesis or my reasons why I believe this is a 100x from now. And it's something where I'm personally invested in. And I believe a thousand can become a hundred. That Those kind of returns you can't get in traditional financial assets. Now, I always say to you guys is, you know, invest when you're investing in a coin or a company you're investing in the founders if the founders are crooks if they're not knowledgeable if they're not intelligent if they're not um, resourceful if they don't understand things do you think their coin or their company is actually going to go towards success i highly doubt it they're more pump and dumps fabian not because he has a blue tick that i'm recommending this or he has a lot of followers he is a author of ERC-20 Standard and ERC-725. He was one of the, you could say, co-founders of Ethereum. Ethereum right now sits at 500 billion market cap. Okay? 500 billion. Another author or a co-founder of Ethereum was Charles Hoskinson, which came with his Cardano, which is sitting at 60 billion. Luxo, it sits at 400 million. So, just even if it gets to a Cardano level, it's 100x. Now, the same people, Charles Hoskinson, Vitalik, Fabian, they worked together on Ethereum. So, they were from the kind of same breed, 
of intelligence or they kind of you know worked on the same kind of level and if Eid can get to that level and Cardano can get to that level why can't Luxo get to that level that the first thing that interested me into this that hang on we've got a market cap of 400 million 100 times less than Cardano actually 150 times less than Cardano there's a huge gap right and if you watch Fabian's conferences three four years ago where he's speaking to big big uh, players within the fashion industry and he said blockchain came to solve problems of traceability of scalability of um, authenticating things of making sure you know you can verify ownership of something and he said and he it makes sense that these are the same problems that are faced within the fashion industry that blockchain actually resolves all these problems or um, you know scalability in fashion proving if something is authentic proving if something's counterfeit proving if something you actually have the ownership proving the traceability proving the supply chain all these things can be improving the scarcity you know clothes are worth money in in fashion because you know they're rare or there's a limited edition with blockchain infused into clothing it can make this happen and Fabian was correct on this um, analysis and he's also argued which I do see the future going towards that kind of realm is if you look at the young generation they grew up with these in their hands right this is like second nature to them they understand digital aspects of life as you can see <laughs> they understand digitally you know it's a norm to them to wake up around computers laptops all these things so for them to transition into web 3.0 or a metaverse where they live and breathe and earn and have a community or society online it's perfectly normal for them hence you see Mark Zuckerberg making you know headlines of Facebook changing the name to Meta and actually joining you know this kind of a web 3.0 and uh, Fabian's argued that people on that game or that metaverse life imagine you're gonna want to you're not gonna walk around naked you're gonna want to wear clothes look at these clothes if, if you guys think this is just a joke DNG digital suit is sold for one million dollars and buyer now has a year to get fitted for a physical one so as you can see DNG has been selling digital NFTs of suits they sold this one for one million they sold um, another one there you go that was for seven hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars to an NFT collector imagine in these games these young kids they want to look cool they want to have reputation what do you think they're gonna do to look cool in school to look cool in front of their friends or that girl or whatever they're gonna buy fashion digital art clothes they're not gonna walk around naked in those metaverses once they wear these kind of clothes they look cool they look nice they look fancy and it's so easy for these fashion companies to sell the clothing with pretty much zero operating cost and they can make like 90 plus percent margins but in order to do this Luxo is actually the, the backbone of the fashion industry and it's integrating with all these fashion companies you've got Nike on board you've got Gucci on board you've got Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton is one of the top 10 richest people in the world if not top 20 and it's a fashion company all these companies are actually in talks with Luxo to integrate and make NFTs that are actually wearable within the metaverse and Fabian talks a lot about universal profile like right now if you've got an account on Facebook and then you've got an account on Google and you've got an account on YouTube and you've got an account on TikTok it's different different profiles made on different different places if you forget that password or if that company goes bust your profile is gone but with the universal profile it's a universal profile so it can be basically exchanged around the metaverse you can move into a Facebook metaverse you can go into um, snapchat you can go into you know playing games uh, metaverse you can go to whatever metaverse you want but that profile of yours will be yours because with NFT they can prove the ownership that that is your profile there's no more passwords there's no more email addresses it's your profile with the blockchain
because blockchain allows traceability, it allows scalability, it allows a potential universal profile. Luxor is working towards this. And if you look at the fact, like just on Fabian's um, uh, Twitter page, you, you can clearly see them talking about universal profiles. If I just scroll down a bit, as you can see, look, um, with this one on interoperability, um, he knows about universal profiles. And uh, Fabian agrees. Why do you think Facebook has changed the name to Meta? And who do you think can provide the universal profiles? It's not, you know, crazy to assume that actually Luxor is the one that provides the universal profiles for this Web 3.0 kind of phase. And if you look at just the global apparel, apparel market, it's expected to grow from 1.5 trillion to 2.2 trillion. Guys, this is not a small market. If Luxo is actually integrating with these fashion designers to make their digital version of clothing into the metaverse and takes a percentage of it, of a $2 trillion market, 10% is $200 billion, 1% is $20 billion. Even if it has a 1% of the market, that's $20 billion. Right now, $400 million market cap. Price? Technically, if you look at it, Luxor, it hit peaks of 25. And we went from $5 all the way up to 40. And we had a little bit of a retracement now where we are around 20. You can get in now half price compared to literally a month ago, not even a month ago. You can get in nearly half price. I don't see... Um, if you want to look at retracements, I believe that Luxor can actually even come back up to around this area. Uh, this was the previous resistance level, around the 25, which it kind of is at now. And this is like a crucial place now, uh, a psychological level where it can re is retesting this place. Um, and it might just go back up for a, a swing or it might go a bit down. But I believe around this point, it's going to simply find support and actually shoot up and it will do the same move that it did from 5 to 40 which is around $35 it will do about $35 move from 25 so that will be around $70 move this is just short term I'm thinking but if you look at it for the next few years 400 million market cap no no way if you even look into Fabian's Instagram uh, sorry into his Twitter You'll find a tweet where he actually said, I expect Luxo to be in the top 10 of all cryptocurrencies. And literally, Ethereum is number two and it's 500 bill. So you can see his mind is not even looking at, he's not even looking for a 10x potential. He's looking for minimum 100x move. And if this moves to 100x, that's a 40 bill market cap. It is still so small, guys. Like, look. It's, I can't really emphasize it so much how small that is compared to you You know you have to compare things to things and if I go to let me go just literally go to cryptocurrencies but now it, it wants to be slow on me god look guys um, you've got Cardano 62 bill XRP 50 bill Polkadot 40 bill Dogecoin 30 you've got trolls like these at 26 and 30 bill You've got a company here working on a $1 trillion, $2 trillion industry, NFTs that are Web 3.0, where people like us will buy clothes that have fashion attached to it, where blockchain, Luxor will be the one who provoke, prom, kind of make that happen. It's common sense, guys. And it's one of the founders of Ethereum. Cardano is one of the founders, and they're on 62 bill, and they have like literally zero applications being used, and they're at 62 bill. Don't look at the price, look at the market cap. People get confused by the price, but they don't calculate it by the circulating supply. There's 33 billion ADA, hence the price is low. Whereas Luxo, the circulating supply maximum is 100 mil. Right now it's 15 mil. And Fabian has said, if it runs smooth on 30, 40 million coins, we burn the rest. What does that mean? The value of those coins are worth more. Look at the circulating supply. Do you see any here with just like a hundred? Look, Dogecoin, 132, 132 million, right? And it's worth 30 bill. Luxo can get there. 
I mean, am I saying it's going to happen over a week? No. Am I saying it can happen next year or two, three years? Yes. Just put in, like, I can't give you, like, advice of what to do. I've put a grand in. If it makes me 100x, it makes me 100x. That's something I can't make investing in literally property. Let me give you an example. ETH. I bought ETH um, in June around the 1800 pound right it's nearly it's ne it's kind of doubled in what six seven months and eth is you got to understand at a 500 billion dollar market cap it's for this 200x it needs to go to 50 trillion right because if it 10x is it's 5 trillion and if your 100x is 50 trillion it's not an easy thing to do because the whole s p market S&P 500 market is around 20 trillion. The whole stock market in America, S&P 500, I believe is around 20, 25 trillion. So you telling me ETH being 50 trillion more than the stock market, I'm not saying it can't happen, but it's a bit of a push. It's not realistic for right now. Whereas if you're telling me can Luxor hit a 40 bill market cap where there's so many already at that place? Yes, it can. So literally look into this one because right now it's gone from a 40 to a 24 you can nearly get in half price you can pretty much double down on this and if it doesn't a little more dip buy more and in the next few years you're probably sitting on a 100x return it's life-changing wealth guys if you want to see more like this because i look at all the coins out there that have potential that the founders are rock solid man like this guy is an author of erc20 this ain't some bs guy that's just come to make 20 30 mil and just get out of this game he's here for the long term i look for people that have fundamentally strong knowledge they are honest they are competent in their field and they've got backing they've got financial backing because those are the type of coins or companies that will do good in the future because in the future it's about the fundamentals in the short term it's the technicals that matter in the long term it's the fundamentals the core of that company and what it provides so if you like if you want to know more about the new ones that come up and the ones that have that potential for those juicy gains then hit the subscribe button so we can share that with you whenever they come out because i post every single day um it, it depends different timings um because it depends on my mood um i'm just kidding it, but i try to post every day and not just jokey coins coins that are in the gaming industry in nfts in DeFi, or in you know fashion anything that has a good potential so yeah if you liked it hit the subscribe button and see you next time peace guys